Welcome back to, for TV5 News at 9. It's time for Design Time. And we are here in Auburn uh, at Tri-City Furniture with our good friend, Kathy Kilborn. Thanks for being here, Kathy. Thank you for coming. Yes. All right, Kathy, so let's not, before we get to Kathy, don't forget there will be a QR code on your screen that you can scan with your phone or tablet to get more information on today's topic. So, Kathy, so many words today are misused uh, to describe something or it could be so generic that the word doesn't really tell us what we were really talking about. Exactly. So Kathy, does this happen in the furniture industry? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people have a really generic call and say, well, what size is a table? Mm -hmm. And I don't know if they're talking about an end table, a coffee mm -hmm. table, a dining room table, and they know what they're referring to, but I don't know because it's so generic they don't give me enough information. So, Kathy, that definitely can be very confusing. Yes. Uh, so, in certain pieces, what about sofas? Is there a difference between a sofa or a couch or a Davenport? Yes, there there are differences, mm -hmm. but they're very minimal. It, it was what was happening at the time. And so, a Davenport was what we referred to in the, the 50s and the 60s, and then we got to the couch potato, mm -hmm. and so you know, we're more into uh, the 80s and the 90s, and then today we call them sofas. Now, I prefer the word sofa because it's quicker to say and really short to write. Yeah. So, but it, they're, they're referring to the same piece. Mm -hmm. It's just the, the popularity of the description for the time. And Kathy, as it pertains to beds, is there the <laughs> same type of confusion? Yes. So someone will call and say, how much is a bed? There are so many parts to a bed that it's hard to to tell you the price because do you mean the headboard and the footboard, the rail system, the frame system, or do you mean the mattress and the box spring? And then what size? Because beds come in all different sizes. The price of a twin, could be way different than a king size. Mm -hmm. So you need to be a little more specific. Because these pieces are bought from different manufacturers, we separate them. Beds are usually the wood parts. The steel frames are a frame. Mattresses come from mattress manufacturers. So all of those don't come from just one place. Mm -hmm. You have to be a little more specific. Yeah, and Kathy, does that pertain to chairs too? Is a chair oh. really just a chair? Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> so the way I talk about chairs is now I'm sitting in a chair. It has four legs. A dining chair is a chair. It doesn't do anything but let you sit on it. Mm -hmm. But you're sitting in a chair also, but it rocks yeah. and it swivels. Mm -hmm. So we will refer to it as a swivel rocker. Now, is it a chair? Yes, because we both sit, but because you can do other things, we really give it that name so it's more descriptive of how that chair works because it may recline too. Many chairs can do multiple things. So I wouldn't have this a chair and I wouldn't call it a recliner because it doesn't recline, but in a recliner it could sit still like this mm -hmm. and then I could open it. So the reclining part is a better description even if I'm sitting still. Mm -hmm. And Kathy, we we're talking about recliners now, so tell us, is there different variables with recliners too? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, so many differences. So each chair, now again, I'm talking American manufacturing because they, again, don't make it until I order. But you can get a plain recliner, you can get a rocker recliner, you can get a power rocker recliner, you can get a lift chair, a swivel, a swivel glider. There are so many choices, seven to eight different variables in most reclining chairs. And so it's important to actually know what you want and be very specific so that you get what you need. Mm -hmm. And Kathy, we thank you so much for giving us all this information because buying furniture is not really easy. No, and, and it, we don't want you to get the wrong thing. And so you, if you're not getting good information from who you're talking to, 
then move on. Mm -hmm. Get somebody who will help you. Many people tell me it doesn't fit or the piece was too large for the space or I need it to fit tight to the wall. We could correct all of those problems by giving you the right piece, but you need to ask questions and you need to know specifically what you want it to do. If you need to get up out of it more easily, you want one that doesn't rock because the movement is harder. Lift chairs don't move except for recline or help you stand up. Get the right piece, ask questions. So we always want you to know the inside story. Get that good information. All right, Kathy, we appreciate you so much. Thank you. Yes, thank you. This has been another edition of Design Time. For any more information, just head over to our website, WNEM.com.